Greetings, YouTube. Diamond Woods 12 back again, another video. Here to really first say rant about the Kardashians. Because I don't know why my sister kind of forced me into watching this shit. Forced me into watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Well, the new season. She just got to watch it. She forced me into watching it. And I really would like to know what makes these girls famous? This is something I want to know. What makes them famous? I mean, they have zero talent. They really pretty much do nothing. Well, I guess they got they got some freaking store now, but that's about it. I mean, they... I just don't get it. Why do people keep... Why do people really keep interest why do people watch that show why are people so freaking invested and i know i've done kardashian videos back in the past but i'm, I'm just wondering what what made somebody want to do a show about ray j's ex-girlfriend because before then that's all and i guess robert kardashian um that's their dad he helped he helped get oj simpson off but um but yeah, um, I'm just wondering, um, what, what made E News E a channel that I watch all the time want to give them? What made them want to give them their own show? And according to one of the sisters that they happen to they're, in, they're entertaining, they're not that entertaining to me. I mean, I always wonder this. I mean, do you, you get do do I got to get my own show if I go out there and sleep with a whole bunch of famous famous? Hot chicks out there. If I go out there and sleep with a hot phone with the famous actresses, will I get my own reality show? That's what I'm wondering. I mean, because I ain't gonna lie to you. It seems like that's kind of what Kim Kardashian did to get where she is today. Because a lot of people, I mean, I know her sex tape. I really had, I really seen, I've seen it, but I hadn't seen it. I mean, I've watched parts of it, but I hadn't seen it all the way through. I mean, it seems like, the, it seems like she basically screwed her way into Hollywood. Into the face of Hollywood. I mean, that's what it seems like to me. I mean, the same goes to people like Paris Hilton. I mean, it seems like she just had screwed her way into Hollywood. But um, now Kim Kardashian is getting movie roles and TV roles, which I believe could have been given to lots of actresses that have trained, that have trained lots of actresses that trained so hard to get to where they are. And um, I, I was just wondering. I mean, I just wonder what makes the Kardashians famous. I mean. I feel that same, and I feel that way about a lot of these reality, a lot of these reality people. Like the people from the Jersey Shore. I know I'm gonna piss a lot of people off talking about that, but people from the Jersey Shore. I mean, I hadn't seen any of them really do any movies, but if I do, I'm gonna. That's gonna even piss me off anymore because I'm a guy that I have my lifelong goal, and I'm going. I'm actually have to catch my dream now as an actor, out in Hollywood, catch my dream as an actor. And if I ever go to a big audition one day, which I'm speaking it into existence. Get the opportunity to go to the audition for a big movie, and I find out that a role is being—they're looking for a reality star in the place of that said role I'm, I'm going for. I'm gonna say you—you you guys have them all have them stand in line, stand in line with over a thousand people, with over over a thousand people. Have them stand in line. And um, have them audition for a movie. Don't just give them a don't give them a role because millions of people tune into their show every day, every week. Don't do. I mean, I, I think they should have the same opportunity as any other actor should. Anybody, any other actor that has to stand in line and stand there wait for hours to get called in to audition for a role. I I, th I just think I just I believe that's what I believe. I mean. But yeah, um, and it actually kind of has me not scared to go into the um acting business, get into how get out there in Hollywood and try to start auditioning and stuff like that. Cause I have been doing some auditions and stuff like that, but um, and I've landed some like small some plays and that they pay decent money. But I've added, I've thought I've done some plays and stuff like that. But um, I'm trying to I'm trying to get out there like in TV and in movies and whatnot. But um. If, I'm not, I, I'm not. I'm not gonna fight out. Go out and tell the casting director that, but because I want to get cast in the part. But I'm gonna tell. I, I'll 
speak it amongst other actors that are did an audition. I'm like, they should have this pop star. I ain't saying I feel the same thing about pop stars getting roles over actors that have trained, like myself, that have the drive and determination that have acted for a long time and have trained, got professionally trained. I mean, studied for years to become to get become big Hollywood actors. And they give the role to people that are reality TV stars and people that are um, rappers. Or and not saying that none of these said rappers are. Um, and I'm not. I'm not saying that none of these rappers are. Um, are good acts. I'm not saying none of them aren't. I mean, cause some of them are pretty good, pretty decent. But uh, and are giving roles to pop stars and whatnot. I mean, it it just messes with my. It just messes. It just really f's with me. Really, it really messes with me. But um. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe one day it'll change, but um, right now, cause I, and what makes me think about this is because I recently just found out that um, apparently Kim Kardashian's been offered a role in this, but well, actually's been given a role, a re- reoccurring role in the new series, new show. Well, not new show. It's not really new. And I don't really watch that channel. I really don't. This channel, they heard this shows on. I really don't watch the channel. I've seen the preview for it. But it's lifetimes, lifetimes, um, drop dead diva. It's like I don't know what that show is about, like, cause I don't watch. I'm not an avid lifetime watch. I don't really watch lifetime, but um, I just see previews on other stations about the show, cause I'd be like doing you know, advertisement for it and whatnot. And I'm sitting there like Kim, and they said Kim Kardashian joins the cast of Drop Dead Diva. I'm like, really? Kim Kardashian, who somebody who probably hasn't really acted a day in her life, and I'm not talking about that whole epic movie disaster movie, whatever hell that movie was, that travesty, I mean, I'm not talking about that, but, um, what I'm, it's just messing me, what, somebody, I, I'd rather get somebody, cast somebody, that, uh, this is what also makes me want to become a director, a casting director, as well as an actor, but, um, and a producer and whatnot, but, what makes me think, and I'm trying to go, I'm going for school for this, but, um, for all this, like, mainly acting, but, I'm um, going to school for it, but, um, well, that's what messes me. People that have trained so hard for years don't get the get overshadowed. Don't get the opportunity they deserve to do big name projects. That's why there's so many independent stuff. Independent. Um. That's why I believe there's so many independent um op- things going out now that coming out nowadays. Just just because they're giving roles to big the big roles and big roles and out in Hollywood are being offered to reality stars and people that have done reality TV and People that that do music, I mean, it, it just messes me. I, mean, I believe like these big time pop stars, like I know Justin Bieber wants to find a wants to become a legit actor, and I'm not gonna say I have any problem with that. I mean, if Justin Bieber wants to become an actor, let him do it. But um, but yeah, I'm just saying. What I'm just saying is um, I think he should have to wait in line and audition like every other person. We could we know if, if um, Justin Bieber decides he wants to do a movie. Any old director's gonna give it to him. Cause they know millions of young girls are gonna go, are gonna rush to the movie theater. They're gonna rush to the movie theater to go see it. And, um, but yeah, um, I, I know I've gotten way off track. But, um, me finding out Kim Kardashian has got cast in a semi hit show kind of messed, messed with me. That kind of went off on a Hollywood rant. But, um, it's just, I mean, it's just, that just messes with me. I mean, seeing so many people that have trained so hard get overshadowed, get, get freaking overshadowed by all these reality stars, these pop stars, and these singers, like R&B singers, like, um, like a, like a recent movie I just seen, you think like a man had a lot of R&B singers in it, had Chris Brown in it. That role he played, even though it wasn't a big role, it could have gone to a guy that, like myself, a guy that has trained so hard to become an actor and has gotten all, got kinds of, all kinds of professional training. But they just put these arm, these singers and reality stars in in these movies or in these TV shows just because they know, um, just because they know that dozens of people are going to go see it. So many people are gonna go see because they're fans of those reality shows that they're on. They're fans of those um, records that those people sell. I mean, that, that's just messing with me. It's messing with me, man. I just don't. I just don't. I don't understand, man. I just don't understand. But back to this whole Kardashian thing, as to why people like, and I have a theory on the Kardashians. I've heard lots of other people say this that this theory that 
the Kardashians know how to stay relevant. They know what to do next, how to stay relevant. I mean, that's just, that's just all it is to it. They know how to stay relevant. That's just all. I, that's how I see it. The Kardashians know how to stay, keep their name. Kris Jenner knows how to f- freaking keep her daughter's names out there. She, li- they literally know how to keep their names out there. I mean, you hear you, every day I hear a different Kardashian story, but the whole Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Now all, I got a whole video playing for that. Which I'm, I'm going to probably get out there probably sometime over the weekend. I got a whole video playing for that. But um, how I feel about that. But, and it's going to surprise you how I feel about that. To be honest with you. But um, like, every day I hear something new about Kimye. Kim and Kanye this. Kim and Kanye that. Kanye wasn't Kim Kardashian was spotted there. Kanye wasn't Kim Kardashian was spotted here. I hear that every freaking day. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of borderline sick of hearing about it, but... I just try to tune in that because I, I watch shows like E! News, Access Hollywood, and Entertainment at Night and stuff like that. I watch those shows just to keep up with Hollywood news and whatnot. But every day there's something there's something Kardashian related on those shows every day. I don't know why. It's just something it's something every day on the, on one of those shows that's Kardashian related. I mean that that messes with me. Every day is something Kardashian related. But um I know I've been talking for a long time. I'm, I see I'm up to like 11 minutes now. But uh, I, I, I did intend for this to be a lengthy video. But um, And then we hear stuff like every day, like so-and-so Kardashian's pregnant. This Kardashian over here is trying to get pregnant. This Kardashian over here took some provocative, provocative pictures. These teenage Kardashians have are aspiring models. They need to be models right now. People like people always saying stuff, stuff like that, that. The younger Kardashian sisters shouldn't be shouldn't worry about the spotlight right now because the spotlight's always going to be on their family. They should go to school. And, and that's how I feel about it. I think they should all just go to school. I think their names are like Kylie and Kendall or something like that. I mean, that shows you how much I know. But, um, but yeah, um, it's that. I think they should be in... They, I know they do go to school, but I think they should focus on school as opposed to every so often putting stuff about Watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians on Twitter all the time. That's just what I feel. I mean, I, I don't know. But uh, I'm about to get on. I'm about to go um, in this video. I'm going to be back with um, a special video. Um, with something I actually am I'm actually excited about talking about. I did this video pur- pur- purely off of request. I was, this video was a request. from One of my friends requested me to do this video. But um, I'm actually, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video I actually want to do. And it's going to be about the Avengers movie, parent, comparing, even though the other movie hadn't come out, but comparing the, for the way it looks, comparing the Avengers movie versus the Amazing Spider-Man movie. They're both are Marvel movies. I've seen all the trailers for the Amazing Spider-Man, and um, I'm going to try to compare it with the trailer for the Avengers. I've seen the Avengers I mean, it was a badass movie. Avengers is a badass movie, but I'm gonna compare those. I'm also gonna do a movie, like a movie, not a movie review, like a review of the tra- the third trailer for The Dark Knight Rises, because I'm actually involved. I'm, like, I'm, I'm interested in talking about stuff like that, and like my song reviews. I'm interested in doing those, but I did this video purely off a of request. But um, and by the guy that requested me to do this video, thank you for being even caring about my channel. Thank you for watching my other videos. I just thank you for everything. But thank you. Cause you're one of my loyal subscribers, but um, and now I'm pretty sure all my other subscribers are very loyal. But um, I thank you guys for subscribing too. But that guy that sent me the video request for me to do do a video about this, I want um, I thank you for that. Um, thank you for everybody else for subscribing for watching my videos. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button. You can also thumbs down the video. It's your opinion. I'm I'm not influencing you to thumbs down my video, but you if it's your opinion, you can do it. But uh, comment, leave me a comment, uh, subscribe. But um, yeah, that's all I got for this video today. This is Diamond Woods 12 checking out. Peace, God bless, and I'm out. Deuces.